Welcome back, fellow mobile gamers, to this weekly roundup of the five best games I played last week right here on my YouTube channel. And this week has been a great one, especially if you enjoy sci-fi games, because we've got everything from an awesome offline playable futuristic arcade game to a roguelike sci-fi shooter so difficult that it'll have you sitting at the edge of your seat constantly, a new top-down action RPG shooter with amazing monster designs, a tactical team-based gacha RPG that mixes in heavy idle gameplay elements, and lastly, a 4x space strategy game with a ton of content in both single player and real time multiplayer. So hang in there, sit back, and let's get started with the first game. Ailment is an indie roguelike sci-fi action game where we fight our way through a space station where all the crew members, for some reason, have turned aggressive and are now attacking us. The game is fun, but also really difficult with some rooms of the space station feeling like a true action-packed bullet hell nightmare. When we die, we can choose to watch an advertisement or spend in-game currency to revive, but if we run out, we do have to start all the way over from the very first stage of this game again. And that just feels really punishing. I don't know what this indie developer was even thinking about, but there are lots of unlocked weapons, an easter egg hidden in every section of the spaceship, and an NPC that joins us sometime later into the game, and all of that keeps the game fresh and entertaining. And monetizing purely through in-app purchases for more in-game gold, the game is an easy recommendation. You can play the game offline, it takes up only 80 megabytes of space, it's out on Android and in a beta version on iOS, and if you're into difficult roguelike action games, this should be right up your alley, so definitely go check it out. Gigantic X is a sci-fi themed dungeon crawling action RPG shooter with three classes, that we can freely switch between before each level, by the way, each of which come with unique abilities and room for two equipable weapons. Although the UI is a bit confusing in this game, the single joystick controls are really tight, and the over-the-top monster designs just look and feel amazing, reminding me of the Monster Hunter-inspired MMORPG Rangers of Oblivion. While currently only featuring single-player campaign missions, multiplayer game modes are expected to arrive on the game's May 4th global release date. The game design means the multiplayer mode could turn pay to win, so I'm personally hoping for a co-op game mode instead, more like in the vein of Left 4 Dead, for example. That would certainly do this game wonders, and if that's the case, it's a very easy recommendation from my end. The game requires online access, it sets you back a whopping 2.42 gigabyte of space, it's available on Android in some countries already, and it will be out on iOS and in the rest of the world on Android on May 4th, and assuming that the multiplayer game mode update doesn't entirely ruin the game, this is one solid monster hunting game that is definitely worth checking out. AFK Arena is a mix of a tactical team-based gacha RPG and an idle game where we build out a team of heroes to complete campaign missions, raid bosses, guild events, bot PvP, and much, much more with all that combat happening completely automatic. So that's the idle part of this game. We unlock new heroes through a gacha unlocking system and then we spend experience points and gold that we've gathered from AFK combat to level up our heroes and to upgrade their equipment. For all the idle RPG fans out there, this game offers an interesting mix of gameplay elements and I actually enjoy playing this game more than I thought I would this week. Although the monetization goes all the way up to 100 US dollars and certainly makes the PvP aspect of this game very pay to win, there's plenty of content that can be enjoyed for free without ever feeling any need to purchase any of the inner purchases. The game requires online access, it takes up 290 megabytes of space, it's available on Android and on iOS, and this is one of those games that I thought I would really not like, but that I actually still play a week later, so if you're into idle RPG games, definitely give this one a go as well. Hades Star is a popular a space-themed 4x strategy game played in one huge shared universe with all other players where we build out our space base and conquer additional planets by collecting resources and slowly upgrading spaceships and other machinery. Progress in Hades Star is insanely slow, like really, really slow, making this game very, very niche. For those with enough patience, however, the game features a ton of interesting gameplay elements, such as, for example, exploring red stars with other players to extract artifacts before the star goes supernova and kills everyone who didn't make it out, or the 40 versus 40 real-time guild battles waiting for us further into this game as well. Playable on both PC and mobile, in both landscape and portrait mode, Hades Star is definitely the most solid 4x sci-fi game I've played so far, with a monetization that never forces us to buy anything. Just don't expect to get to the really fun part of this game anytime soon though. Patience is key as they say. The game requires online access, it takes up 161 megabyte of space, it's out on Android, iOS and on PC, and my conclusion is that if you've got enough patience and if you love 
love 4X strategy games, then I'm pretty sure that you will have a lot of fun with Hadestar as well, so you should definitely go check it out. Flaming Core, apart from having probably the most badass name ever, is an amazing arcade game where we move a sphere ball around numerous well-designed levels to take out all the enemy turrets and lasers that are all trying to shoot us down. Movement happens by holding down a finger on the screen, which slows down time to a near halt, by the way, and then we aim in any direction and then we release to flick the ball forward. Once we start rolling, we can repeat this to change the direction at any time, utilizing the slow-mo effect to avoid bullets and traps that we're just about to hit. The gameplay just feels fantastic, and I think that's why I really love this game, but the music also fits perfectly. The particle effects when hitting walls and enemies make the game a joy to look at, and new balls with unique abilities keeps the game interesting. Although the game does employ an energy system and shows us a few forced advertisements from time to time, there's surprisingly no way to remove either of these through in-app purchases, which is probably the game's only drawback. The game is offline playable, it takes up 163 megabyte of space, it's out on Android and on iOS, and despite the energy system, this is my favorite game of the week, and one that I think most of you will really love playing as well. So definitely go check it out, as always, links in the description box down below. Thank you very much for deciding to hang out with me today all the way till the end of this video. Do me a favor and let me know which of these games is your favorite, and share this video with a friend as well so we can get it up to 10 views in total. And until next time, just keep gaming, stay awesome, and I'll see you guys around. Thank you.